Well, we all know how devoted teenagers can be to their music, but there probably aren't many who share one Nova Scotia teen's favorite band, and fewer still who go as far as he does to support the group. Colleen Jones has the story of a teen and his podcast. Welcome to Creatures of the Net. The podcast is devoted to KISS. A band who sold most of their 80 million records long before 13-year-old Cassius was born. So this is just a labor of love. You know, nobody's forcing me to do this. I do it because I have a love for the band. His mom, Christine, introduced him to Kiss. She never imagined he'd take it this far. When he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a podcast, I said, a what? He's on Podomatic, a huge website for independent podcasts. We're the number one rock podcast so far on the website. What? Yep. You're number one? His podcast is sponsored and heard by thousands. 43,000 visits so far. Wow. Yeah, just this week. So, so these are the numbers we got to be looking at here. I know, he sounds like a radio executive, but this right Howard Stern in the making has right found his calling. Mexico, Brazil, Peru, Chile, Argentina. Wow. Is it 79? 75. You would have been great in the 70s. Too. I would have loved it, yeah. <laughs> what do his friends think? Their biggest priority is when the Jonas Brothers are coming to town, and mine is how I'm going to record my next KISS podcast. So it's, it's kind of hard to relate to them. That chases his own interviews. The publicists find out first, and they kind of, you know, say, take it easy. He's, he's little. His bedroom is a KISS shrine. Yeah, this is the KISS compendium. It's actually a collection of <laughs> every single KISS comic. KISS toothbrush, KISS puzzle, 1,000 pieces. This is actually a signed Eric Singer drumhead that was uh, played by him on the Revenge Tour in 1990. Peter, Chris, Catman, Doll. You get the idea. He has seen KISS perform live. Gene Simmons actually uh, pointed at me and went, He'd like to book Gene as a guest for his podcast, and he is persistent. You get the idea he's following the advice from his favorite Kiss tune. Never enough, Paul Stanley says. It, probably the line, I'll do my sleeping when I'm dead. Just go, 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 and do all your work. That's probably it, yeah. This is Strutter. This is definitely a kid who marches to the beat of his own drum. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax.